water signs. This is going to be your elemental water uh, mini cross reading for December 2021. So this is a general reading. It is going to be for the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have made it through to December. There's just a few more weeks. 2021 will be behind us. I'm rather excited <laughs> and a little nervous because I don't know what's coming up, right? <laughs> Every time we turn around, it's something new. All right, so I have with me the Radiant White deck. We have the La Vida Sibila for clarification should we need. And I have two Oracle decks here. I have both the Romance Angels and the Golden Nostradamus. And I don't know, I mean, the 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 Elemental Earth reading was really interesting. And um, I don't know what the cards are going to talk about, but I always say that even the Romance, the romance Angels cards, even if you're not in a romantic situation or you're not interested right now, can provide you some information or some solace perhaps for you if you need it. Because they always say the most important relationship you're ever going to have is the one you have with yourself. Now, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, please do so. It's over on Substack. You can go to the, um, what do you call it? The channel art on my channel and click over there. It's a little orange icon. Click on that and sign up. It's a free newsletter. Um, also, if you're interested in uh, website membership or if you are interested in um, booking a reading, uh, you can click on the end of the eye, the little eye at the end of the reading, and that is going to take you right over to the website. I have uh, several reading packages, and you get there. Look for tarot consultations. Okay? I've already done some meditation and shuffling on the water sign and glyph. I did have a card present itself, so let me go ahead and turn the camera around. The card that presented itself is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? interesting card. This is at the heart. I know y'all get tired of me saying, oh, it's so interesting, but the truth of the matter is the cards never tell the same story twice, or at least not the same way. And it's always interesting the stories that, it, that the cards tell. Okay? Always. All right. What is the foundation of this issue? Let me cut these cards. It is the tower. Wow. Okay. What is the energy of the near or distant past? The ace of pentacles. What is the unknown energy that may be coming in for the month of December? It is the five of cups. And what is the energy of the near or distant future? Perhaps all the way into January. Well, now, it is the moon card. Isn't that something? We do have a solar eclipse, a new moon solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius in a couple of days. Uh, probably today on Friday when I release this. So, And we had uh, a lunar eclipse last month on the 19th. I don't remember what sign it was in, but there we have it. So what do I have? I have two major arcana cards, two pentacles, and a cup card. What is the energy over the entire reading? The judgment. Now, judgment is an interesting card um, because basically what it says is that it's a, a call. It is time now for you to get realistic about whatever your situation is, okay? It is a call to a new life. Um... But it also counsels that you always, always look out for your own affairs and uh, use your discernment and your logic. Now, I have seen this card show up when there's some kind of announcement. Okay? Uh, to me, that flag there is the international symbol of the hospital. So, to me, it's like help is on the way, but the help comes through some type of news. Okay? Okay? Now, looking at these cards, mm, well, it's it's kind of, I don't know, kind of all over the place in terms of the energy. And so what I'm going to say about the judgment card is that no matter the situation that you're in, I think you're going to be receiving some news that's going to help you, okay, to eventually move through whatever this situation is. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is... 
it's a seven and sevens are always a moment of self-doubt and questioning yourself you know, should I shouldn't I do I don't I will I won't I that kind of a thing but if you'll notice this is about waiting for the harvest to come in okay and you've been tending that crop whatever it is you've been doing you got those six pinnacles on there and suddenly you've got this seventh pentacle here um, and you got to figure out whether or not you've even got room for it on that bush Do you got time to tend it or what are you gonna do with it you know I, I, I don't know I've seen this card show up sometimes when people feel like they've been working and working and working and they don't see any rewards for it okay particularly financial rewards but I think what I find most interesting is this row across the center here because there is this um, almost like this mirror image of the sphere. This is what's coming across for me. So I'm not exactly sure if, if why that's standing out to me, if, if it's telling me that it's something that's coming back around, okay, or that it's something that's circular. In other words, you've just been going around and around and around and around in circles about it. Um, but the moon, I think, is also a timing card here. Um, but also the moon is about the idea of your worst nightmares or your worst fears coming up from the depths. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're real, <laughs> right? It's a psychological kind of a thing. This Ace of Pentacles here says that there's been some type of offer presented to you or some type of opportunity if not a financial opportunity then it is an opportunity to do something different to for lack of a better term take a new or different path and sometimes when we do that we get to the end of the path or we get walk through the next door and then when we get there we're really disappointed and so this card is about sadness and disappointment and and sorrow and regret it's about crying over spilled milk but I always like to call this card the two of cups in disguise because right behind him are these two cups. And so the message of this card is to shrug off that cape of despair and dark clouds and turn around, okay, because perhaps in short time, two or three days, you might hear something that's going to change everything for you. So you really need to be balanced about this, all right? You really do. And that's, I think, more than anything... The tarot speaks about the blending of opposites, okay? Um, because we know that life has its ups and downs. Um, and so this is really the pair of opposites, okay? Yeah, you can be sad, but, you know, it may not be something really to be that sad about. You know, you can move through this. What I want to do, the most feared card, one of the most feared cards in the deck is the tower card. Now, I want you to pay close attention because we see that tower there, right? We also see these two towers here. The tower card is about the constructs that we build in our, in our lives. It's the only man-made symbol in the deck. So this comes uh, to the idea of things that you think are, are surefire, are steady, are permanent and the tower comes along to say that no that's not it's not permanent nothing is permanent and sometimes this card will show up when uh, we had all of these expectations and then something occurs and psh, all the air goes out of the balloon sometimes I'm sometimes I'm just bit my tongue sometimes this card can be the epiphany you know like aha that's a problem and then everything kind of falls down right but what I like about the Tower card is that once this occurs, you're left with open ground that you can come back and rebuild on. So that's why I'm saying, you know, sometimes we have to lose things in order to gain things. And it may be okay that we lament those things for a little while, but it's really doing us no good because it's in the past. <laughs> right? Okay. Something's definitely about to change for you, water sign, someone out there. So the only cards that I can look at as they relate to these two major arcana are the three pip cards and we're going to go ahead and start with the seven of pentacles so there may be for all intents and purposes some type of financial loss here okay <clears throat> let's see 
I don't see anything next to these two cards. Okay. But it really is this idea of negotiating finances, loans, sales, monies, and, and, and saying do not become over anxious. Remember me telling you about that, you know, the, the fears that come up? Okay. And I always say that over when it's a, a, a coming out of this two-week moon cycle, you know, maybe you don't have all the answers yet. That's no, that's no big deal. Um, I'm going to go to this Ace of Pentacles. Nothing about the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. What it does say, it tells you that things are looking up for you. You can expect an important document, letter, fax, or email in the coming days. And this will form the basis of a new and prosperous beginning. An award, degree, diploma, accolade, certificate, letter, or important legal document is on its way into your life. Its contents may please you as it signifies recognition for work well done. This may be something you have been waiting on. Okay, very important. But now here's this Five of Cups. Somebody looking all sad and hangdog. Don't do it. The Five of Cups tells us... Let's see here. Well, it, it's there's an indication of something with it being with the judgment card. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and give this to you. When the Five of Cups appears with judgment, it is an indication that karmic conditions or karmic lessons have been well learned and have passed. The way is now clear for new endeavors. And right blessings are on their way into your life. Okay? That's what it says. So, it's asking you to consider carefully before you make any decisions. Alright? Because the effect may have the unforeseen consequences. But yet, um, it's not... This is, I think, where judgment is coming in. And, and let me give you a bit of indication about the judgment card. Okay? And I think this is why judgment has come out over the entire reading. Because whatever this situation is, it's going to require judgment. It is number 22. It is the... Um, I'm sorry, number 20. So again, it's... A, it's speaks to the number two it breaks down to the number two so this is a, going to concern a, a major decision or choice uh that you are going to have to i don't know make it tells of new things happening and you are to uh, rely on your own judgment it indicates that now is the time when past efforts will yield positive results and rewards it will also highlight injustices in your life and ask you to be inspired to work towards the future and accept that signs of material success will come later. It asks that you break away from conventional modes of thinking and listen to your own intuition. It tells of work well done. There's a focus on change and new developments. It indicates that it is important to deal with matters that have previously been put aside in order to advance to new successes. The card asks you, judgment, to self-assess your life and lifestyle. It may be positive appraisal, and if so, there is an acceptance of the past and a sense of satisfaction. It will often indicate that there will be significant changes, new relationships, careers, new home and or residence, renewal, and spiritual development. But it also states that there is no need for unwanted ties or bonds. Okay. It tells of an end of an era in your phase of life and the start of a new one. But we can only move on after we have give, taken a good look at the past and forgiven ourselves for mistakes made. This is not always an easy task. So in reviewing your own journey, you must also review your part in the various situations in which you have found yourself throughout your life. So this whole thing, this crying over spilled milk, you know, 
if you're still alive and you're breathing, it can't be that bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at what this tower card, this sudden crumbling of, of all of the structures in your life, right? Uh, I've seen it show up when something breaks unexpectedly. Um, <laughs> you know, I... It happened with me over Thanksgiving well, when I did last month's reading for the Earth signs. The Tower card came out. Well, little did I know, I had a water pipe break, right, Thanksgiving, and my whole foundation of my house got wet. Um, so, sometimes that's what it is. Just things, unexpected, out of the blue. The Morte. The cosmic scissors, whatever this, whatever this tower represents, however it's going to come about, okay, it's going to be the cosmic scissors that cuts the whole situation. There it is, the letter. And the Gran Signore. Now, the letter is simply that. It, it, it can be something that you have to sign for or it's a delivered package, but it can also be an email, a text message, um, uh, you know, a phone call coming from this Gran Signore. Now, the Gran Signore is typically the King of Cups, but he's also someone who's very wealthy and very important. So he can be a philanthropist. He can be someone who's um, really well known in the community. Um, he's a man of property and status, okay? Um, not necessarily that he's going to give you bad news, but this comes to cut the situation. And so maybe this is you've been waiting on some news from somebody and you are, you know, maybe this is a new financial and you haven't heard from them yet. At least give it to the end of the week into the middle of next week all the way out to the full moon coming up in December, okay? So don't be doing this. Be assessing whatever you need to assess, okay? And don't be doing this, all right? Um, let me pull you, I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card. No, nope, I'm going to pull a Golden Nostradamus. That's what the Golden Nostradamus has to say. I mean, for all you know, this guy might have the answer for you. <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. It is the Chimera. Well, isn't that interesting? The Chimera. Number 24. The overly avid often find something that leads to an unhappy and painful life. This is a reminder to be concrete. Let go of your dreams and illusions. Leave behind excess ambition. Misfortune will not strike you if you have ideas in keeping with your skills. So this could be something like you think you all of that and you really ain't. <laughs> and somebody says, oh no, we can't have you. Be realistic. Okay. And then come up with a new plan. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and pull a romance angel card here. I, I think so. Because that could be about fantasies and illusions and delusions, that moon card. Okay? And maybe this is an opportunity to focus more on the areas uh, that uh, uh, you're not very strong in. Okay? Here we go. It just says divine timing is working in your love life. Now, this may not be about a romance, 
a romantic situation. So we're just going to talk about the situation that is worth waiting for. And it's based upon divine timing. Okay. So let's see. What it says. Worth waiting for. Soulmate relationships require patience as there are many factors involved. Now, remember we were talking about the karmic lesson here, okay, that it's past and it's over now? So maybe this is a breakup. I don't know. It says your soulmate's free will choices are beyond your or the angel's control, as is the readiness of both of you for true love. This card comes to you as a reminder that this relationship is worth waiting for. Divine timing is a universal law that is always in operation. It is the flow of everything. If we try to impose our human will and force things to happen, we become out of sync with nature and experience blockages. Similarly, if we fret, when will I meet my soulmate? When am I going to hear from this person? When am I going to get that job? Then we put worry energy out into the universe. The romance angels have heard and answered your prayers for a soulmate and they are working behind the scenes to bring this to you. Your role is to listen to and follow your intuition, even if it seems unrelated to your desire. Your intuition is like a guide dog leading you along the path of, uh, of answered prayers. Follow your intuition and trust in the timing of the relationship. So, you know, if this is, even if this is a work situation and you, you know, panicking because you haven't heard back, divine timing is at work, okay? You have to be patient. So this is why I say self-assess, you know, where you are, your life, your lifestyle, and what do you want to change? And so that's what I have for you, Water Signs, for December. I do hope those messages help. Again, you want a reading, you can click on that I right there and that will take you over to the channel, uh, to the website. Look for tarot consultations on the main menu. Until next time, be well, stay safe, and namaste.